question number 12 2022 kcse mathematics paper 1 uh, number 12 an electric post erected vertically is 20 meters from uh, point p on the same level ground the angle of elevation of the top t of the post from p is 30 degrees given that s is the midpoint of the post calculate correct one decimal place the angle of elevation of s from p uh, to understand that well let's make a sketch of uh, of uh, our the, the, of what we, we, it is being is being described so that is a post and this is a, where we have our point p uh, from here <coughs> that is 20 meters so we are told that uh, the angle of elevation from point p up to there is uh, 30 so this angle here is 30 so this is the top of the post uh, we can say this is the ground then we are told that uh, the angle we are required to the, we have there is a there is another line there where we have point s which is the midpoint of our post ot and we are required to find the angle of elevation so what is that angle uh, we can be able to get the angle uh, first of all we can uh, since we have been given the angle 30 Uh, of angle of elevation and t at of t from p and uh, we have the horizontal distance we can just say tan tan 30 is equals to opposite which is uh, we can say the height of the post divided by o h divided by the adjacent uh, opposite of adjacent so 20 so we can say height is equal to height is equal to uh, 20 the tangent of 30 so this is equal to when you multiply that using your calculator you get it is 11.5 11.5 uh, meters now once you get that so we can now uh, we can say os is equal to 11.5 Uh, you divide by 2 and you'll be able to get uh, 5.8 around 5.8 uh, meters now that we have this is 5.8 uh, this is 5.8 uh, we can now get the angle then we say tan theta is equals to uh, opposite which is uh, phi opposite is this one a 5.8 you divide by the adjacent which is 20 so tan uh, that is we get theta uh, by doing this theta is equals to tan inverse of 5.8 you divide by 20 so you press by tan uh, the inverse sign you press tan that will give you tan inverse and you can you can when you're working in the calculator you can use the bracket and you'll be able to get the angle is 16.1 degrees so that's how you work out that question and you get yourself three marks